it's baby day. <laughs> It is 6 a.m. and we're about to get up and get moving because we have to be at the hospital by 8 to start my induction process. Are y'all ready? I'm ready. The next time y'all see me after this video, y'all gonna have a nephew and a niece. Are y'all excited about that? So, basically everything is in the car. John just has to go install her car seat in the middle. And then our bags and everything are already in the car. Um, have to pack Zayton some snacks and some toys and get him dressed. Um, and then everybody else has to get dressed. We did all the heavy lifting last night, so. <sighs> Can't really see the bump. Bit long for real. Period. So we're here. Um, I'm waiting to be called back. My mama and John are downstairs. We got here late, ran into traffic, and then John was driving slow. Like, everybody else was driving fast, and John's just sitting there cruising. So then when we ran into traffic, it put us way, way behind. So, yeah. Hi. Uh, hi. Hey. Yeah, 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 yeah. What you doing with this? Okay, guys. Do you have anything to say to your granddaughter? I got plenty to say to her. I got to think about what I want to say. Because we got beef, Kai We have beef. You can put my Hey guys. So, I'm about to do my makeup. Um, so far, we have the Foley Bub in and the Pitocin going. And the contractions are contractioning. But I have my, y'all can't see it, can you? My labor comb right here on my wrist for me to grab. Um, but yeah, these what I'm feeling now. They like a little bit, like they they like a tad bit worse than the Braxton Hicks contractions, cause the Braxton Hicks contractions will come and then they will go. These keep coming, baby. I'm gonna let y'all see a little bit of me doing my makeup, but I'm not gonna do the whole thing, cause I don't want to edit all of that. So, John over there checking on our heart rate and blood pressure. Quit nailing. What? Boy. Come look at this one. This one her stuff at. Mm -hmm. <sighs> These contractions is kicking, boy. You see my contractions on there? So I thought I was gonna do my makeup, but I'm not. I can't, I cannot, I cannot focus on trying to do it. And then every time, I'm not gonna say every time, but like, I got gas now. And it's so bad. And it's like, this Foley balloon is making me have gas.
but yeah i'll come back and i'll update y'all i guess at my next um cervical check so message from dad to baby <laughs> What's up? What are your predictions? Like, like how much you think she gonna weigh? Maybe like six pounds. Is that? What time you think she gonna come? Come right now, Tom. You think she gonna have a lot of hair or not a lot of hair? Mm -hmm. I feel like she gonna have some. You got any uh, you got any special words that you want to say to her for when she watches when she older? I mean, not right now. I got the home. Meanwhile, the mom is having a contraction. These things hurt, girl. They hurt. I'm trying to hold off on getting this epidural, but. I'm, I might just have to. So. So I'm on the peanut ball. I'm going to try to take me a little nap. Hopefully when I wake up, I'll be done progressed more. John's about to take a nap too. So I just got IV pain medication. Honestly, it got me feeling a little woozy. But I just had a contraction and I still felt it. So. But my mom is eight and left to go get John's phone because somebody stole it and they're on the way back. Um, so hopefully with this pain medication, I can go to sleep until the balloon comes out. It's going on 4 a.m. No sign of baby. My last cervical check, they, they could feel her ear though. So, yeah. And I have the epidural now. Bye. It's like 7.30. Still no baby. But I am in Trendelenburg now. So, because she's asynclintic, it's 10.14. I've been in labor for 24 hours. I'm still four centimeters dilated. And we've been talking about having a repeat C-section. <sighs> I really don't want that. But if it's what's safest for me and baby and for me to be able to go back home to my son and to my husband, then that's what we're going to do. So... I'm two and through, y'all. I don't care what y'all hear from John. If he ever tell y'all he got another baby on the way, it ain't mine. Because I can't do this no more. I got my two. And we just going to leave it there. So. When my mama and Zayton get up here, they going to take me back. And then the next time y'all see me, it'll be as a mother of two. I'm out of surgery. I'm out of surgery. Very tired and sleepy. They had to do the C-section. And it was rough to me because when I was feeling hurt, it was like pressure, but it was so sore. 
Jones in there with me for the time that he could be. After they pulled the baby out, he went with her to the NICU. I can't leave my room, my recovery room, until like three or five. Then I can't eat until I get clear when I go to the mother baby room. So I'm thinking that I'll be able to eat around 6.30, 7 o'clock. Um, I don't know what I want to eat though. And what I do want to eat. <sighs> what I do want to eat is like different food. So I doubt John will go running around town to get it for me. But yeah. Baby girl is here, and she's in NICU right now because she needs some oxygen. So waiting on my mama to come back so John can go down and sit with her. Um, I've only saw her for like 10 minutes, not 10 minutes, like 10 seconds, both the times I saw her. So I'm excited to meet her. But yeah, that's the update. So, John, so, what do you think of our daughter? This is good as it's going to get, because we ain't having no more. You can do that all you want, I promise you. He's sleepy. Waiting to be taken up to my mother baby room. Um, most of all, I'm ready to eat. So, yeah. Zayton can't go up to the mother baby room and he can't go to the Nikki. So, he cannot see sister until we get home. Which is unfortunate, but I understand. Okay, hey guys. So. So, I can finally eat now. It is, what time is it? It's like six something. It is 6.34 and my first meal is going to be a Subway sandwich and a churro. Um, baby is better, she is out of the NICU. Her oxygen levels are where they're supposed to be. And I am able to walk around like, if that's what you wanted, that's what you should have got. Okay, that's the only size that they have. But um, I was able to get off the bed that they rolled me into the permanent room in into here. So that was like two steps, and I was able to get on the bed and like position myself. Um, Right now, my pain is at like a two. But when I start moving around, it like, you know, gets higher. So around eight, I'll be getting more pain medication. And then um, I cannot take a full on shower, but I am able to um i am able to take like a a sponge bath and y'all i'm so itchy like oh my gosh that's something that they do not tell you about labor and delivery once you get the epidural or if you have to have a c-section they do not tell you about the itchiness they tell you about the shakes but they don't tell you about the itchiness and i'm so so itchy so they've also been giving me Benadryl and I get my next dose of Benadryl at eight as well. So yeah, but that's the update. I just wanted to come give y'all and I'll see y'all later. Bye. I'm a mommy. My girl is tired and she is asleep. She has eight. And 
Now she about to get her sleep on. So I'm about to get my sleep on. I'm about to swaddle her back up. Well, actually I'm going to drink all these drinks. So that way I can go pee before one o'clock so I don't have to get this catheter in. And then I'm going to go pee. Um, and this really might be the last thing that I vlog um, before we go home because I don't really know like what else to show y'all. I'm not gonna show y'all me breastfeeding her or anything like that. So y'all just probably see us packing up and leaving. I can't wait to get this Benadryl. Like, I'm so itchy, bro. And where I'm itching at, Kayari is lame. So I can't, <laughs> I can't scratch. Whatever. Bruh. John is asleep. And he literally is snoring so freaking loud. Like, John. John. Turn over on your side or something. You snoring so loud. Elevate your head up. Hi, Mama. Well, we're getting discharged and we're going home. Little mama's napping. Dad went to go get our cart in the wheelchair and we have everything packed up. Don't mind my edges, y'all. I'm gonna do them at some point. Well, baby, I just ain't been worried about them. But I know I've been looking crazy. I was finally able to take a shower. So, I'm happy about that. And I'm happy we get to go home because I get to see Bub Bub. So exciting. Um, but yeah. Hey y'all. So, it has been two days since y'all last saw me. Um, but we finally made it home. My edges are still not done. Whatever. Um, and honestly, <sighs> recovery this time has been hard. Like, it's something so different. And when I say different, I mean different. Like, I don't even know how to explain it. Maybe I'll make another video another day. Um... But yeah, so I'm going to end this vlog here. I hope you guys enjoy um, sharing this experience with me. Uh, but yeah, as far as like for today, today's been pretty cool. Um, I feel accomplished because I was I was able to get out of the shower with like a little, like very little help. <laughs> so that made me happy. Um, yeah, Zayton, I guess, is reacting to his sister well. He's not really like phased by her, uh, he's not really phased by her, but he's not being mean to her either. So, he does not like when John picks her up, though. Like, when John gets her or shows her attention, he also wants attention from John, which it was weird to me because I thought it would be me. But he literally does not care when I have her. So, don't mind John in the background. He playing Fortnite. But, 
Ooh, yeah. Right so far, so good Ooh, so dead, for today. Bruce the first up. yesterday was rough. We were home. Uh, but yeah. So, like I said, uh, bye guys. I'll see y'all later. I don't know when this will be posted. So, because I'll have to edit it. And I don't know when I'll feel like doing it. But, see y'all.